In this session in Excel, we are going to look at the VLOOKUP function. What the VLOOKUP function does is it looks up a, a code in an area of the spreadsheet. So for example, in this case here, we have got a price list here of information. So we have a product code, a description and a price for each of those services offered. And we've got a little excerpt of an invoice at the bottom here. The areas in yellow we're going to need to key into. The description and the price we're going to put a formula in, which will be a VLOOKUP formula to return some data from this price list. The first thing that's important is in the area that is the table of information, you must have it sorted alphabetically on the code that you're going to use. So I highlight my area. I go to my sort button. And it asks me what I want to sort by. My data that I've highlighted does have headers. Row two are the headings, so I make sure that box is ticked. And then I want to sort by product code. A to Z, so we must sort the data area alphabetically by the column that you're going to search in. So that's the first step. What we then need to do is we need to put a VLOOKUP formula in each of these cells, so in B15 and C15. I'm just going to put a product code in here for a minute so you can see the answer as soon as we put our formula in. So I said in the yellow boxes we're going to need to key in the data. In the other boxes we're going to put a formula. There's already a formula in the total cost, which is the price times the quantity. So in the description box, what we want to do is we want it that we want the spreadsheet to search based on the figure we've put in A15. We want it to search for this text in this area. And we want it to return us the description. And in the next column, we want it to return us the price. So we have to actually put our VLOOKUP formula in twice. So as always, put your cursor where you want the answer to appear. Go to your function wizard button. And if it's not in this most recently used list, we can type it in up here. And I know I want the function VLOOKUP. Having searched for it, it's come up in my list. I select it and click OK. Now I need to fill in these function arguments in the wizard. The first question is it says it's looking up a value and it gives you some explanation down here. Looks up a value in the leftmost column of a table. So this was our table. We're going to look up in the very left column. So look up what? Look up A15. Where is the table? Here is the table. And then this next one is which column do you want it to return? This is column one. This is column two and this is column three. So in the description field here, I want it to return column two. OK. I want the second column. And I click OK. And you will see what it's done is it's given me the text there that relates to my product code menu C. Let's just run through that again by doing the VLOOKUP in the price section. Go to my function wizard and because I've just done that function, it's already here in my most recently used so I can select it from there. Look up what? Look up this product code here. Where? In this table here. And which column do we want it re to return? In our price 
field, we want it to return column three, column one, column two, column three. So I just put a three in there and I select OK. And you will see that it's returned the price for this product code. I can now copy this formula down to the other fields. It's come up with not applicable because I don't have anything in the product code just yet. So let's put in a product code, HH full. It's a full day haul hire. And then let's put in some refreshments. Refreshments per person. Now all we need to do is to say how many. So we'll say it's a one day haul hire. There were 30 people booked for lunch and 30 people for refreshments. And you will see that by doing that, entering in the yellow boxes has allowed the VLOOKUP formula to return the information from the table. So you can use this for things like price lists. It saves you typing in the description and the price every time and it saves, saves errors. You could use it in a database of client information, perhaps. You could put somebody's name in and it returns any information that's in the table about them. So maybe their address, their phone number, the name of their pet. So you can use this VLOOKUP formula in a number of ways. And what it does is it looks for an area, it looks for a code in a table and returns the column of data that you specify. 